Generation Zero is off to a great start in 2024, with a recent hotfix coming in with loads and loads of fixes for all of the issues that are crash related. There is one downside to this hotfix though, it is only for Xbox and Microsoft Store, so it's not for Steam or PlayStation. The Steam and PlayStation one is still in processing, um, in certification, sorry. So that will be coming out next week, hopefully, pending certification. If that all goes through, though, we could see the update next week for PlayStation and Steam. But 2024, good start so far. We're 12 days in, and this has loads and loads of fixes in it. There is also a dev letter that came out earlier on today going over what each of the roles are at the uh, development studio. So the producers and, and the artists, all of that stuff, and what they do, and little bits of tidbits of information on how they make their roadmap, which basically says that they've not got a roadmap um yeah that's fine but great update um and if you are interested in the development process i'd highly recommend checking that out it is in the description down below and it's really interesting it's a good read loads of cool stuff in there if you're interested in that type of thing game development then definitely give it a read now for this hotfix let's have a look at what the team have to say Today we have an exciting hotfix for you. It's been released on Xbox and Windows 10 for now. We are looking at PlayStation and Steam releases for next week due to the verification processes. Thank you everyone for your patience. Lately we have seen an influx of reports of random crashes during gameplay. We'll have a dedicated one of our amazing programmers, Georgios, to look at the most prevalent ones, and the patch is a culmination of his efforts to improve stability and performance. The hotfix contains crash fixes related to shock ammo in multiplayer, heat ammo in multiplayer, explosions, firebird balloons, machine pathfinding, vehicles despawning, vehicle driving, interacting with the inventory very fast, too many sounds happening at the same time, base assault completions, mission completions, multiplayer disconnects, and closing the game. So that is a whole chunk of bug fixes that will hopefully reduce the amount of crashes that players are having. I did think that the crashing issue had gone down significantly, but it seems like a lot of people have been reporting them recently. So hopefully this does solve a lot of issues for the majority of players. Furthermore, we've fixed consistently appearing crashes during normal gameplay on Xbox and PS4. And as a cherry on top of the mound of squash bugs, we've removed the bug where players couldn't interact with the respawn map if they died, died whilst their pause menu was open. So that's good as well. It seems like this is more of a um, quick hotfix rather than any type of update. Now, there is going to be an update, hopefully relatively soon. We don't have a date on it yet, but we'll go into more of that in just a second. If you were experiencing frequent and random crashes in Generation Zero in the last couple of updates, we highly encourage you to check back in now. Please let us know about any persisting crash issues and if possible include a reproduction step and or videos and screenshots if you have them. It will help us weed out more crashes in the future and we are dedicated to making Generation Zero a smooth experience for everyone, no matter what platform you're playing on. The next step after this hotfix releases on all platforms and it will be the 60fps patch for PS5 which is in the pipeline and we'll have more information about its release very soon. Stay tuned to our social media channels and our Discord server. Now all of those are in the description down below as well as the uh, site which does contain this letter and the previous letter that we spoke about which is going over the development process and who is in charge of what process at Systemic Reaction. So very interesting, I do like this. We haven't seen any news of any potential items that are coming this year yet. We do know the obviously 60 FPS update, and it seems like they're trying to squash loads and loads of bugs and get the game in a really good state. So are they doing that to add, hopefully, a substantial amount of content in 2024, or are they doing some final cleanups to improve ratings and then leave the game as is and call it a day and move on to another project? Hopefully, it is the first one. They are moving on, they're going to get loads of things fixed, and then they'll come on with bigger and better updates. I have been enjoying the latest updates, especially the companion one and the bike one. I did not cover the companion one because I um, I wound back a lot on the channel during the time that that one came out, uh, but I have jumped back in recently. And I like that they are coming straight out of 2024 with this and that very, very open development letter that they produced this morning, that was great too. So like I say, I would highly recommend reading that. But it is very, very long and goes over a lot of processes that people probably wouldn't be too interested in in the channel. 
If you do want to hear that, then let me know down below in the comments. So for now, that is it from me. Uh, very, very excited for 2024 and Generation Zero. Hopefully we see some really cool things and it is not a sort of wind down of development to move on to other projects. Um, obviously people really were desperate for a Generation Zero 2. They have said that that probably won't be happening, but you never know. We could see something surprising in 2024. Hopefully 2024 so far looks like it's going to be a great year for gamers and... Hopefully that keeps up and we see some more cool stuff from Systemic Reaction. They have wound down their previous projects, um, which were um, ah, Ravenbound, that's the one. I forgot the name there. And obviously Stack and Extinction. Um, so they could be working on something big. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. 2024 is going to be a good year. I'm very optimistic. Are you a fan of this update? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you do have crash issues, make sure you report it to the team. I've been wired. You've been awesome. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.